Hello everyone, you're watching PokerNews.com and I am with your Global Poker Index Player of the Year for the year 2016, David Peters. This was obviously an incredible performance, I think made even more incredible by the fact that about six months through the year, pretty much the entire poker community was assuming that it was impossible for anyone to take this from Fedor Holtz. But not only did you, you know, win a ton of high rollers, win a bracelet, you also managed to take third at this recent EPT in Prague, which, you know, I think an EPT is one of those things that every player has has on their list of things they want to check off. Now, unfortunately, you weren't able to capture that title yet, but that third place finish did put you as the GPI Player of the Year. Now, coming into that final table at the EPT, did you even know that that was an option? I saw a tweet of, like halfway through the final table, and I was like, what? Who knew? <laughs> yeah, I knew it was an option. Uh, someone, Eric Danis, I think, posted that I needed third or better to win. So. Yeah, it was definitely in the back of my mind. I wasn't trying to think too much about it. <laughs> Just want to play my game, but... I mean, it was, it was definitely your year, though. It was incredible. We talked uh, in Prague about this heater that you were on, which actually has continued since then. You've also shipped several more high rollers. I want at least one more high roller um, at the Aria. So you're, you're continuing this momentum into uh, 2017, but can we accept, expect the same kind of super crazy schedule from you? Um, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I sh do plan on playing a lot. Maybe not as intense, but I guess we'll see. I always say that and then end up playing everything. <laughs> so we'll kind of see how it goes. <laughs> this guy is definitely one of the <laughs> ultimate grinders. He has been grinding the scene forever. Well, something that always surprises me is I can remember last year with um, Byron Kaverman and Steve O'Dwyer, and in years past, it always surprises me how much it really actually means to players and how a lot of players really are fighting for this title. And so, you know, from your perspective, what does it mean to capture this sort of prestigious, you know, title in a group of such strong peers as well? Yeah, it means a lot. I mean, it's always a goal of mine and it's something everyone, people kind of want. And yeah, the prestige of it and being in that list with other great players who've been who've won it so I mean yeah it's definitely feels good to finally accomplish like that goal it's great to see you finally recognized a regular face everyone yeah. can know <laughs> but what I will say is I would say my my favorite post so far on poker news Instagram this year <laughs> was a amazing video of you like full 70s shirt little like necklace getting your dance on I heard rumors that this was going to be your EPT win victory dance but it ended up being your GPI win <laughs> victory move <laughs> I'll, maybe I'll pull it out after I win the, this main event. <laughs> I feel like we should start making that a staple move. Yeah. Like every really major title, we bust the shirt out. Oh, I have better moves than that. I just, <laughs> I'm saving them for another time. That was just, that was just the small stuff. <laughs> this was just a teaser, folks. Yeah, okay, there's, teaser. there's more to come. You haven't seen the last of David Peters. Well, I so appreciate it. I, of course, wish you luck. Wouldn't it just be crazy to ship the first PokerStars Championship Bahamas ever? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Sarah Herring. Thank you guys so much. You're watching PokerNews.com.